just looking at how far back you've been raising concerns, it, it's uh, from what I've been able to found, find, it says 2014, but perhaps you can put it into context for us. How long have you been raising these concerns around that building and many others like it in Gauteng, in, in the Joburg uh, CBD? Okay. Yeah, with the Bank of Lisbon building, which is the building that houses the Gauteng Department of Health, Department of Human Settlement, and COPTA. We started raising challenges about that building since 2014. Mm -hmm. And to be honest, our cries have been falling on deaf ears when it comes to uh, the principals in the department. Because at some point, uh, our shop stewards, when they started raising issues, they were suspended instead of management dealing with the challenges. You'd know that in 2015, there was a very terrible heat wave. At the height of that heat wave, it became, the heat became unbearable in that department, in the offices. So workers started protesting and they moved out of the building and shop stewards were then targeted. Uh, by management instead of them dealing with those issues because the issue of air conditioning uh, is very poor in that, in that office. When you say you raised these concerns, who in particular did you raise these issues with? Who is management? Who have you written emails to? Uh, as in, who are the people that can be held accountable on the basis of the fact that they have received your various memoranda on this issue? We've met all the three MECs, the MEC for Health, MEC for uh, Human Settlements, and MEC for COCTA. MEC Mamabulo is the MEC deployed by the Premier to deal with labor relations matters. So he's our direct liaison officer as unions. We've been raising these issues uh, with him, to be honest. Even last week, uh, our members were protesting because of uh, the sewer spillage in, the department, in that building. That building has a very terrible uh, stink, uh, so workers can't bear. Who are the two other MECs that you raised this issue with? We previously raised it with uh, MEC Kajani Mahang when she was still in health, and we also raised it with the current MEC uh, Gwen Ramohopa. Uh, and then when it comes to COCTA, mm -hmm. we raised it with uh, MEC Mamabol when he was still the MEC for COCTA before he moved to infrastructure development. Some of the reports that we're also seeing are saying that this is the third fire at yes. that building this year alone. Yes. Speak to us about that. What happened in the two other instances where, uh, or rather in the three other instances where there were fires, what was the response to that? The one incident we were told that on the ninth floor there was uh, an electrical appliance uh, which caught fire, it burst, and then it, uh, there was fire in that floor. So as a result thereof, there were people from the Department of Labor, inspectors who came to uh, assess, and then a report was given. Since then, we've been pleading with the department to move workers out of that building because it was clear that uh, a serious calamity is about to happen in that department. Hence what you're seeing uh, today, uh, that fire which happened. Uh, it's unfortunate that uh, we lost some workers, even though they're not working for the Department of Health, but they are workers. Uh, and as a union, you'd know that we are guided by the principle of an injury to one is an injury to all. Uh, it's important that we also pledge support to their families, pass, their con pass our condolences uh, to such families. But we'll make sure that uh, as from tomorrow, workers won't go back to that building. When was the last fire at this building, as far as you can remember? It was around January, February this year. It was around January, February this year. Yes. To the extent that the report released by MEC Mamabolo, at least the one he has referenced today, which shows that the building was only 21% compliant and by law it needs to be at least 85% compliant, 
surely that would have been enough reason for that building to be shut down. Have you had a conversation with him since the release of that report? And how did the department justify still keeping its employees there? We are yet to receive uh, that report, to be honest. I was called by uh, an official from the office of MC Mamabul. They are requesting a meeting with us uh, tomorrow morning at nine. Maybe it's only then that they are going to share uh, this information uh, with us. Uh, he does indicate that there are seven other uh, offices uh, which are also inhabitable, uh, are not uh, safe or in a good condition for workers to be put in such buildings uh, to work under such conditions. What do you think needs to happen from here on in order to ensure that government is held to account? Because as far as you've told us today, uh, various officials uh, for the departments that are housed in this building knew about it and they've done nothing about it. Yeah. And today we're looking at a situation where we have um, the risk of loss of lives for the employees yeah. that work there and the actual loss of life for the firefighters who are there to uh, try and rescue people. So yeah. what do you see as the accountability mechanisms that should kick in from here on? Yeah, we're going to engage them tomorrow, like we've said, but we're going to make sure that uh, our members uh, don't get into those buildings because they'll be exposed to risk. But we'll make sure also that uh, the department uh, or government gets offices which are, are good uh, or habitable offices so that uh, workers can focus on rendering services instead of being worried about the state of the building and all other things. So tomorrow we're going to uh, give them a serious tongue lashing and make sure that uh, henceforth our members are indeed uh, protected and our members work under conditions which are conducive uh, for them to work, not these unbearable conditions. Do you think you have enough grounds for legal action on this particular matter and is it something you would look into? Yes, we'll engage our legal department uh, to maybe uh, get a legal opinion on uh, what's the best mechanism we can use to protect our own members, but also uh, our members are seriously traumatized and some uh, are inflicted by illnesses which they don't understand and it's because of the condition uh, of the building. Members are, are, I have been on sick leave uh, for a while uh, because of the conditions uh, in the building and those are some of the things we are addressing as a union and those are things will also be directing at them uh, tomorrow when we meet.